Welcome to How to Shine, part of the Confidence Collection from Rick Smith Hypnosis. Welcome to the program. In this session, we're going to be exploring your approach to confidence in the company of others. If you've ever felt restrained by shyness or lack of confidence, and you'd like to be more outgoing, I've created this original hypnotherapy approach precisely for you. So, when you're ready to begin, please make yourself comfortable, make sure you won't be disturbed for half an hour, and prepare to relax. Now, take a long, deep breath and hold it for a few seconds. As you exhale this breath, just allow your eyes to close and let go of the surface tension in your body. Just let your body relax as much as possible right now. Now, place your awareness on your eye muscles and relax the muscles around your eyes to the point they just won't work. When you're sure they're so relaxed that as long as you hold on to this relaxation, they just won't work. Hold on to that relaxation and test them to make sure they just won't work. Now, this relaxation you have in your eyes is the same quality of relaxation that I want you to have throughout your whole body. So, just let this quality of relaxation flow through your whole body, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Now, we can deepen this relaxation much more. In a moment, I'm going to have you open and close your eyes. When you close your eyes, that's your signal to let this feeling of relaxation become twice as deep. All you have to do is want it to happen, and you can make it happen very easily. Okay. Now open your eyes and close your eyes and feel that relaxation flowing through your entire body, taking you much deeper. Use your wonderful imagination and imagine your whole body is covered and wrapped in a warm blanket of relaxation. Now, we can deepen this relaxation much more. In a moment, I'm going to have you open and close your eyes one more time. Again, when you close your eyes, you'll double the relaxation you have now. You'll make it become twice as deep. Okay. Now once more, Open your eyes and close your eyes and double your relaxation, that's good. Let every muscle in your body become so relaxed that as long as you hold on to this quality of relaxation, every muscle of your body will not work. Now, that's complete physical relaxation. And you already know that there are two ways a person can relax. You can physically relax, and you can relax mentally. You already proved that you can relax physically. Now let me show you how to relax mentally. In a moment, I'll ask you to begin slowly counting backwards in your mind from 100. Now, here's the secret to mental relaxation. With each number you say, you'll double your mental relaxation. With each number you say, you let your mind become twice as relaxed. Now, 
If you do this, by the time you reach the number 97, or maybe even sooner, your mind will have become so relaxed, you will actually have relaxed all the rest of the numbers right out of your mind. There just won't be any more numbers. Those numbers will leave if you will them away. Now start with the idea that you will make that happen and you can easily dispel them from your mind. Now in your mind say the first number 100 and double your mental relaxation. Now the next number. That's good. Now double that mental relaxation. Let those numbers already start to fade. Next number. And double your mental relaxation. Start to make those numbers leave. They'll go if you will them away. Soon they'll be gone. Dispel them. Banish them. Make it happen, you can do it. Push them all out and there they are gone. That's fine. The mind is relaxed. And the body's relaxed. Just let yourself relax much more with every single breath. And I do want your body to relax just a little bit more. So let me help you do that. This time, I'll count from five down to one. With every number I say, let your mind and body relax together like a team. So that by the time I reach the count of one, Mentally and physically, you easily let yourself relax much more. All right. Here we go. Five. Deeper, deeper down. That's good. Four. Drifting and floating, lazy and relaxed. That's great. Three, slowly, gently, smoothly, floating deeper, that's fine. Two, deeper and deeper, down and one, that's great, doing fine. Now you feel your descent is slowing, as if you're coming to rest. Almost like you floated down in a beautiful, warm ocean of tranquility. And you're gently landing on a bed of the softest, most comfortable fabric. Something like a hammock. Feel yourself. Gently now settling in this lazy, relaxing place. And you can allow your whole body now to begin to run down. To take a break. because you don't need your body for a little while now. When you're sure that your body is ready to rest completely, you can give yourself permission to disconnect your body and mind. Just allow your physical body to rest in that place. Safe and warm. 
while your mind begins to gently expand into its own space. Where you're free of all physical constraints. And you can give yourself permission now to place your attention on yourself. And how you are right now. Just let yourself stay there for a moment. And notice at this level that every breath you exhale just easily helps you relax even more. Every breath takes you deeper and deeper relaxed. And as you drift deeper with every word I speak, I would like you to know that you have those physical signs that demonstrate that you have moved from one conscious state to another. In a calm and confident way. And in this calm and confident state, you can give yourself permission to use those fine qualities you possess. Qualities of honesty and truth. Here in this safe and private space, where you are the sole judge of your own behavior. For some time now, you've wanted to be more outgoing. Particularly when you're in the company of other people. Maybe you observe how your friends or colleagues seem able to let their personality shine through. When they make conversation easily and effortlessly. You notice how this attracts people to them. But sometimes you feel like an outsider. Constrained by thoughts that you might have nothing to say that would interest them. And so you stay quietly on the outside. Looking in. In 
inside yourself, you know that you have interesting things to say. And I am sure that in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you find it easier to be yourself. Easier to enjoy your conversations with others. Being the center of attention is probably more than you would like to achieve. All you really want is to be more outgoing. And to find it easier to be relaxed and friendly around other people. Perhaps you've heard yourself described as shy. This can incorrectly lead you to believe that it might be true. So that you might even feel that way about yourself. Now, that situation is about to change. Because you've taken the decision and made the commitment to do something about it. And having made that commitment, find the path towards carrying out your commitment equally easy and effortless. As those other people who you thought of as being naturally outgoing and confident. And you can acknowledge to yourself right now that life really isn't meant to be taken quite so seriously. Life is full of unexpected highs and lows. times to laugh and times to cry. And from today, you'll find yourself feeling optimistic and confident. Especially in company with others. possess every right to believe in yourself. And by believing in yourself, you automatically take the first big step towards the goal you seek. Before today, you may have found yourself overthinking. And self-analyzing when it's really not necessary.
you don't need to have all the information about anything. You can happily and successfully manage your life with just enough information to get something done. Just because you possess the intelligence doesn't mean you should analyze everything. You can be socially brave without sacrificing your intellectual powers. Because you now use your intelligence to guide your behavior. To guide your social skills. to achieve the outcome that you desire. You can be that person you really want to be. Easily and effortlessly. But first, you should consider exactly how you really want to be. I'm sure you'd agree with me that you have friends or colleagues who you consider to be outgoing. Perhaps many of them. Just use your imagination for a moment and think about those people, just in a general sense. Is that how you want to be? Or perhaps it's more complex or nuanced than that. Some people attract attention in a negative way. Forcing their opinions onto others who will agree with them to their face. But who will be glad when they leave. People like this may come across as aggressive, which is never pleasant. Or alternately, they may be passively influential, even devious. Working under the surface. Is that the kind of outgoing confidence you desire? No, I thought not. So just clear your mind of all those other people now. Go inside and begin to create an impression of the person you've decided you'd like to be. Consider the attractive, pleasant qualities that you'd like to portray. Your own impression of what being confident and outgoing means to you.
Just allow that impression, however it comes to you, to become strong and clear in your mind. so that it will help you stay on the path towards your goal. The next step is to remove the obstacles from your pathway. And the first of those is the belief you may have that the most outgoing people you know are very comfortable in their own skin. If you're close to someone like this, they may have already confided in you how many shortcomings they really have. Because it's often true that those who show the most confidence are successfully playing a part. A positive deception. Many people are troubled by insecurities from time to time. And as they grow and mature, they understand that those insecurities are not unique or unusual. That in fact they're so common that they learn to accept themselves. So now you know that the only standards you have to live up to are your own. Of course, these are the most important to you. Because right now you are the only one that matters. So, whenever you find yourself in a group or a crowd, maybe friends, maybe strangers, maybe a mixture of both, Just remember that this is a group of individuals. Individuals who all have their own insecurities. They are not more special than you. They are not worth any more than you. They are just people like you. And with that knowledge, that equality, you can push aside any misconceptions or doubts So now you find it easy to talk to each and every one of these people you meet. There is no competition.
each person has some expertise in their chosen subject. Just like you have expertise in yours. And this mix of skills and abilities ensures that we all have something important to contribute to the world around us. What it's really about is getting to know them. and allowing them to get to know you. Whenever you find yourself in need of conversation, be bold, break the ice. Find some common subject with which to approach others. Talking about the weather is always a favourite. Because everyone has experience of weather. See if you have things in common. Perhaps a place you've both visited or a movie you've seen. You find that you can start conversations everywhere. Everywhere you meet other people, if you really want to. And as you do begin a new conversation with a stranger, you discover what you really already knew inside. Most people just want to be liked just as you do. Other people are just like you because we all have so much in common. We're all human beings. We are social animals who enjoy the company of others. As long as it's on our own terms. The vast majority of people you meet are ordinary, everyday people. each with their own unique qualities. Their own experiences. Opinions, ideas and thoughts. And you can learn so much from them. And they can learn so much from you. Being more outgoing means stretching yourself. Recognizing and acknowledging that your own insecurities have been restraining you. holding you back from approaching others in a confident manner.
deciding to give things a try and others the benefit of the doubt. Of course, there will always be those people who you just cannot seem to get along with. Argumentative people. Arrogant or aggressive people. However, you now realize that if you actually want to know them better, or if there's a personal advantage to you meeting them, you can easily overcome any apprehension. by accepting their shortcomings and making allowances for them. However you arrived here, you now feel completely able. To leave behind every negative feeling in your past. you're starting right now with a new, optimistic pathway to the future. Feel your confidence increasing. You're accepting yourself for the wonderful, unique person that you are. Now that you accept yourself, others will easily accept you too. You're moving past your old limitations and approaching life in a more confident manner. You lead with a smile and a friendly, approachable attitude. Allowing your own positive, outgoing personality to shine through. And each and every time you find yourself being more outgoing in the company of others, strongly reinforces your own self-belief. You know that you're equal to everyone else. Even more so in many instances. This makes you feel great about yourself and good about others. Your self-confidence and your self-belief increase day by day. Just imagine yourself now on a day not too far into the future. Approaching a group of people who you don't know too well. With an air of confidence. Displaying genuine interest in the people you're about to meet. You're smiling because you expect them to like you. And because you expect them to like you, they automatically respond in a positive way.
Every time this happens to you, you find yourself becoming interested in others. And they, in turn, are interested in you and eager to get to know you better. Imagine yourself in this conversation now, perhaps small talk at first. Or maybe talking seriously about a particular subject. Utilizing whichever of your confident range of approaches is right for the moment. Notice how you're feeling relaxed and calm. Knowing that you've moved beyond your previous way of thinking. And you're now as outgoing as you imagined you always could be. And these suggestions are firmly embedded in your subconscious mind now. And each time you call on them, they grow stronger and more automatic day by day. Your confidence in yourself is constantly increasing. You're feeling more confident and more at ease in the company of others. And even if you try with all your energy, you'll find it's impossible to remember how you were before. Now that you've moved into this brighter, more optimistic and positive phase of your life. Now just take a moment of quietness to allow this new way of thinking to settle in your subconscious mind. Do that now. Well done. In a moment, I'm going to count from one up to three. At the count of three, your eyes are going to open. You'll become fully alert and totally refreshed. Any cobwebs that you might have had, any sleepiness of mind is going to dissolve and disappear. And you're going to feel bright-eyed and full of energy. You'll be fully alert and wonderful and marvellous in every way. Okay, here we go. One. Slowly, easily and gently feel yourself coming back up to your full awareness. At the count of two, you're still relaxed and calm, but notice that your eyes under your eyelids feel as if they're clearing. Kind of like they're being bathed in a sparkling cool mountain stream and you feel great. On the next count, those eyes are going to open, totally alert, fully refreshed, just feeling excited and wonderful in every way. And every time you go into hypnosis, you can let yourself go deeper than the time before, because you know that just feels good. All right, get ready. And on the count of three, 
open those eyes and notice how good you feel. <laughs>